we can use pivot tables to easily create a frequency distribution in Excel. Remember, our data set consists of 22,312 records and 9 fields. Now let's first insert a pivot table. Next, drag the amount field to the rows area and uh, the amount field again to the values area. Note here that you can drag the same field to different areas in the pivot table fields pane. Now click any cell inside the sum of amount column. Right click and click on value field settings. Now choose count and click OK. You must have noticed amounts in negative and might be wondering why. So to clarify here, orders which have been reversed either because of uh, sales returns or they were placed in error show up with negative amounts. Next, click uh, any cell inside the column with the row labels. Right click and click on group. Now enter minus 4000 for starting at and 10,000 for ending at and 1,000 for buy. Then click OK. Now here is the result. Here we observe that our maximum frequency is in the 0 to 999 amount range and our frequency distribution can be improved upon so as to be made more meaningful. So let's uh, modify grouping. Right click and click on group. Enter 1 for starting at 1000 for ending at and 100 for buy and click OK and now let's have a look at the result. So this looks uh, more meaningful, isn't it? To easily compare these numbers, let's create a pivot chart. Click any cell inside the pivot table on the Analyze tab in the Pivot Table Tools. Click Pivot Chart. The Insert Chart dialog box appears. Click OK. So here is the final result. It shows that maximum product orders are in the range of $1 to $100, followed by $101 to $200, and as the order amount range increases, the order count reduces.